Welcome to our lecture online. Here's our next example from the same viewer in Mongolia who gives us some very interesting problems. And again, here's an interesting one of those algebra problems where they don't give us the initial amount. Matter of fact, they want us to figure out what the initial amount was. So here we have the question. There is a box that contains no more than 70 mushrooms. So it could be 70 or less mushrooms. 52% of them are white mushrooms. When you remove three of the mushrooms, and they don't tell us what kind of mushrooms you remove, white ones or other type, let's say there's white and black mushrooms to make it easy, only 50% of the remaining mushrooms are white. How many mushrooms were originally in the box? And then as I was trying to figure out how to do this problem, I realized that the previous problem I could have done slightly differently. Because there we had to multiply 12% times the number to get a whole number, and it turns out that I came up with the number 50, but you could also use the number 25, because 12% of 25 is also a whole number. So here it's the same approach. You need to come up with a whole number. And then realizing that after you remove three mushrooms, then half of the remaining mushrooms are white. So somehow, to get to multiply a number times 50% to get a whole number, it must be an even number, which means that whatever number you begin with, when you remove three mushrooms, you have to have an even number. Wow. So those are kind of the restrictions when we think about it. But first of all, let's see what number is possible so that when you take 52% of that number, you get a whole number. So essentially, we start by saying 52% of x equals a whole number and the number must end up in a five why does it have to or in a zero five or zero will, will do and the reason is because five times two is ten that moves the decimal place over so essentially it's the same thing as before 0.52 multiplied times x is a whole number so you think that x must either be a n in a five or n in a zero so that means that five times 0 0.02 will make it 0.1, or 10 times 0 0.02 will make it 0.2, so it moves the decimal place over. So it needs to end in a 5 or a 0. So, in other words, it could be 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and so forth. So, what's the smallest of those numbers, so when you multiply times 52%, you get a whole number? Well, let's try it. So 5 times 0 0.52 is times and we'll just keep doing that, right? So we're going to keep multiply times 0.052 times 0.52. Mm. <coughs> I just swallowed a little bug. I don't know if you saw, there was a little bug floating around and it flew in my mouth and I swallowed it. Oh well, a little extra protein never hurts. Okay, so 5 times 0.52 and right away we realize that doesn't work. That gives us 2.6. When you multiply that times 10, you get 5.2. Multiply times 15, you get, uh, how about 7.8. Multiply times <coughs> 20 times 52, that gives us 10.4. And finally, 25 times 0 0.52, I think that works. 25 times 0.52, sure enough, that gives me 13. So here it is. So the smallest number of mushrooms I can have is such that if I take 52% of it, I get a whole number. Of course, it could be twice that many, because 50 times 0 0.52, well, let's see here, 50 times 0 0.52, that gives me 26. The next one would be 75 times 0 0.52, that gives me 39, but that's already too big of a number because it's no more than 70. So the only two possibilities are 25 and 50. Those are the only two possibilities. Now, remember what I said, if you remove three of the mushrooms, whatever number you end up with, then you take 50% of that number, and that should be a whole number as well. So for example, if I take 50 minus 3, which is 47, and there's no way that I can take 50% of that remainder and get a whole number. So 50 is not a possibility. The only possibility left is 25 mushrooms. If I take 25 minus 3, that gives me 22, and times 50%, that gives me 11, so that gives me a whole number. But now, well, first of all, we answered the question. So how many were originally in the box? It must be 25. So 25 is the correct answer. But now, 
what kind of mushrooms did we remove? So let's think about that. So 52% multiplied times 25 is equal to 13 white mushrooms. And then when I remove three mushrooms, I should end up with 11 white mushrooms, which means I took two white mushrooms and plus one, let's say, black mushrooms. Let's say there was only white and black mushrooms in there. So that's three mushrooms removed, which means that 25 minus 3 gives me 22, and then 22 multiplied times 50% gave me indeed 11 white mushrooms because I started with 13 white mushrooms. Where's the 13? I started with 13 white mushrooms. I took two white mushrooms away. That gave me 11 white mushrooms. I took one black mushroom away. And so that seems to work. We started with 25 mushrooms. We took two white and one black mushroom out. We ended up with 22 mushrooms, and 50% of those were still white mushrooms. And that is how it's done. <laughs> I need a drink. I need to wash down that bug.